If you're on a number of blood pressure medications, can you eat avocados? The answer is, in short, no, do not. But there's more to this story, and so stick around in this video because I'm going to give you all the juicy details. My name is Dr. Story. I've been in practice for over 25 years. I'm going to give you realistic advice based on my experience and based on the scientific literature. Now, this avocado and blood pressure drug interaction thing is very interesting because there are some problems. You, if you're having a lot of problems with your blood pressure and the doctor has put you on a number of different medications such as ACE inhibitors or ARBs, or maybe you have some kidney failure, you are essentially kind of at the end stage of the disease. And now, so the doctor, the doctor is essentially put into a position where he has to try to save you from yourself by giving you medications to dilate the blood vessels, relax the blood vessels, and these medications are serious. There is a side effect though, and the side effect is really why we're talking about this in this video. Because usually what happens is when a person is diagnosed with uh, high blood pressure, the first thing they do is they consult the very person who really should know how to help them, the internet. So they go on the internet and they start searching about foods that can help blood pressure. Avocados are one of them. Avocados have a tremendous amount of potassium in them, and potassium has the effect of dilating and relaxing the blood vessels. That's weird. That sounds exactly like what the blood pressure medication does. So the patient naturally thinks, well, why should I take the blood pressure medication when I can eat the food? It's a good question, but listen further because I'm going to give you some detailed information. So the doctor told you don't eat avocados. They're not good for you. So you naturally think that's weird. The internet says avocados are actually good for you and healthy and actually improve your your blood pressure. Here's the challenge. The blood pressure medication that your doctor gave you has an effect. It dilates and opens up the blood vessels, relaxes the blood vessels. The problem is it also has a side effect. And the side effect is your body will start to increase the retention of potassium. Now potassium is, a, is something that's healthy. However, in excess, it can actually be a problem. In other words, too much of a good thing. It's exactly like if you were to give a child a little bit of water, that's fine. But if you gave them 40 gallons of water to drink in one sitting, that's too much. Same idea, too much of a good thing. You see, most doctors assume that if you were going to help your blood pressure naturally, you would have done it already. By the time you end up in their office, they're left with a moral conundrum. And that is, do they save your life with drugs? Yeah, there's side effects. Or do they try to lecture you? and try to negotiate with you and try to influence you to change your entire lifestyle? The answer is, that would take a long time, wouldn't it? And many patients are not gonna follow the advice of the doctors. Thus, they put you on medication. Also, usually, there's a pretty good looking sales rep from the pharmaceutical company that brought his entire staff lunch they had in and out. So the point is these blood pressure medications have a side effect. They increase the retention of potassium in your body and that's not a good thing. Why? Because the higher potassium in your blood, the more likely you're gonna end up with irregular heartbeats. So you started out with blood pressure problems. Now you've got blood pressure problems. You're on multiple medications. And now because you falsely tried to eat healthy and eat something like an avocado, now you've got an irregular heartbeat. Guess what? Now that has to be treated. So many people will say avocados are bad for you because they have too much potassium. That's a claim that they say about bananas, oranges, spinach, other fruits, other, other fruits and vegetables and things of that nature. Think of it this way. Think of it like a peanut allergy. Uh, are peanuts healthy? Well, they are to a normal person who can handle peanuts. But if you have a peanut allergy, peanuts are not healthy for you. So just because you have a peanut allergy does not mean the rest of the world has to stop eating peanuts. So let's be clear, avocados are healthy. If you're borderline hypertensive, if you wanna maintain normal, healthy blood pressure, avocados are fantastic. But once you're on medications, the rules change because the medications alter your physiology in positive and negative ways. 
So in that case, avocados are not ideal. So what are your opinions and thoughts on this situation? Have you tried to improve your diet, change your blood pressure, and gotten off medications? Or have you stayed off medications and just eliminated the foods that the doctor told you not to do? If you are on the borderline and you're deciding whether to go on medications, I encourage you to watch other videos. I'm gonna put a video down over here in a box that is talking about how potassium actually lowers your blood pressure. So watch that video and then come back to it because over here on this video, I'm gonna give you four supplements that you can use that will assist you in addition to exercise and eating right to lower your blood pressure.